get to the Gasper. I am just doing another video, so in this video I am going to be doing another Star Wars review talking about the Ahsoka series. So I watched episode 6, 7, and 8 and I have to say they were really good at stuff because we know in episode 6 um, Sabine goes to the Unknown Regions and stuff with um, Morgan and stuff and Balin and his apprentice and stuff. So Thrawn and the Night Sisters were in there. It was cool to see the Night Sisters in live action and stuff and to see Thrawn's return and stuff. And it was cool to see Thrawn in live action and stuff with the Stormtroopers and stuff getting ready to attack the New Republic and stuff. And then Sabine fights off the army that Balin sends after her using a lightsaber blasters kicks against all of them and stuff and then Sabine at the end finds Ezra Bridger and stuff it was cool to see Ezra with the beard and stuff seeing him wearing a robe and stuff in in episode 7 and stuff um Ezra and Sabine reunite and stuff and they fight off stormtroopers and stuff fight off Thrawn's army and stuff and it was cool to see Ezra kicking, punching, using the force and stuff and Ezra was very powerful in episode 7 and stuff and then Ahsoka was training with her lightsabers and stuff with the hologram of Anakin Skywalker and stuff and that was really cool to see and stuff. That was really cool how Anakin Skywalker was giving the message. It was cool to see Anakin giving a message about Asajj Ventress, Count Dooku, all the Separatist leaders and stuff while training her. It was so cool to see and stuff. And then Ezra and Sabine while they were fighting and stuff. Um, Ahsoka helps Sabine and Ezra Bridger and stuff. She had a powerful force push against the stormtroopers and the army and then Balin's apprentice um, fights Ezra Bridger attacking him with her lightsaber and Ezra uses the force to stop the blade from hitting him and then when Ahsoka helps she tries to attack Ahsoka and then Ahsoka uses the force and stuff disarms her and then of course she runs and stuff and then we get the finale and stuff Ezra Bridger, Sabine, and Ahsoka all reunite and they all fight together and stuff. They go to the castle to stop the Night Sisters, Morgan and Thrawn and stuff. And then Thrawn uses his Dark Destroyer to send a bombardment of lasers on the ground, making explosives and stuff. And then Ahsoka, Ezra, and Sabine were able to maneuver around the lasers and stuff and they use the force to open the door and stuff and then Ezra, Ahsoka and Sabine use their lightsabers to deflect the stormtroopers laser blasters and stuff just deflecting all of them while the lasers bounce off the lightsabers hitting the stormtroopers back and stuff and then when the stormtrooper grabs Ezra, Ezra just slams him Ezra uses a force push and stuff. Ezra was just using his lightsaber to deflect all the stormtroopers' laser blasters and stuff. And then Ahsoka fights Morgan while Morgan was using the magic saber to attack Ahsoka Tano and stuff. And she puts up a good fight against Ahsoka, deflecting all Ahsoka's lightsaber attacks and her strikes and stuff while Ezra and Sabine were fighting off those stormtroopers and stuff. They had to chase Thrawn and stuff. And then Ezra Bridger jumps on Thrawn's Star Destroyer and then Sabine uses the force to throw Ezra into the hangar and stuff. Ezra takes out stormtroopers, steals the armor and stuff. And then Ahsoka was almost defeated by Morgan. A uh, Morgan uses the magic saber to disarm Ahsoka's second lightsaber. Ahsoka had one lightsaber left to fight with against Morgan 
and stuff, and then she finally defeats Morgan and stuff. Yep, and then Thrawn was escaping and stuff. Sabine and Ahsoka get into the ship to chase the Star Destroyer, and then they escape back into the galaxy and stuff. And guess what? Sabine and Ahsoka are stranded in the unknowns and stuff. They're stranded on that planet. They don't have the map to get back to the galaxy and stuff. They don't have the map to get back into the galaxy where Thrawn went into with all the planets and the systems and stuff. And guess what? It was kind of a little sad and stuff. Ezra was the only one who was able to make it back into the known galaxy. Um, Ezra meets Hera, the rebels again and stuff, while Sabine and Ahsoka are stranded and stuff, as Morgan and his apprentice and stuff. And guess what? We get the statues in the finale of the father, son, and the daughter of Mortis and stuff. And he, the father had his hand out like this, and while, um, Balin was, um, standing on top of the father's hand and stuff. And then at the end of the finale of Ahsoka, we get a forced ghost of Anakin Skywalker, which was pretty cool and stuff. Alright guys, that's all I have to say. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Hit like and subscribe. Bye.